Hello good day viewers. In this tutorial we are going to find a solution to this interesting question which falls under the symmetrical properties of quadratic roots. We are given a quadratic equation here which is 3x squared plus 2x minus 1 equal to 0. But we are asked to form another quadratic equation whose roots are just the reciprocal of the roots of this quadratic equation. I should know that the roots of this quadratic equation are nothing but the solution to the problem. Those are the two values of x that can satisfy the equation. And to solve this problem, it is not necessary that we have to solve this. No, it is not necessary at all. You don't even have to do that. Whenever you are giving problems under symmetrical properties of quadratic roots, do not even attempt to solve that problem. But in this tutorial, I will solve the problem just to show you what the question means. Okay, let's solve this problem first. Before we come back to the standard way of solving this problem. We have 3x squared plus 2x minus 1 equal to 0. To solve this problem by factorization, because I know it can be factorized, you have to take the leading coefficient, which is 3. Then you multiply that with the constant term, which is negative 1. You know this will give us negative 3. Then you think of two numbers, which when you multiply them together, you get this negative 3. But when the two values are added together, it will give us this coefficient of x, which is 2. You know definitely the numbers will be 3 and negative 1. Multiply these two together, it must give us this. But the moment you add them, it will give us 2. So we are going to replace them with what? 3x negative 1x and negative 1x is the same thing as what um, negative x so we replace the middle term with 3x minus x you know 3x minus x is the same thing as 2x so this is 3x squared plus 3x minus x minus 1 equal to 0 then we factorize in batches between this we have 3x in common the first two terms if you take 3x squared you divide by 3x that will give us x if you take 3x, divide by 3x, that will give us 1. Then I think we have minus in common here, only minus 1, right? Inside, that will give us x plus 1. The whole of this equal to 0. And if you observe, the terms under the bracket are exactly the same. So we can still factorize. x minus plus 1, that is what we have in common. From the first term, we have 3x left. From the second term, we have minus 1. This is equal to 0. We set each factor to be 0. Uh, we have either x plus 1 to be equal to 0, which implies by taking 1 to the other side, we have x equal to negative 1. Then we take the other factor, that is 3x minus 1. We set it to be equal to 0. If you take negative 1 to the other side, it becomes positive. Then you divide both sides by 3. Therefore, x will be 1 divided by 3. Negative 1 and 1 over 3 are said to be the roots of this quadratic equation. But we ask to form another quadratic equation whose roots are the reciprocal of this. So that particular quadratic equation we are about to form will have roots like this. The reciprocal of negative 1 is still negative 1. So that particular equation will have one of its roots to be negative 1. And reciprocal of 1 over 3 will be 3. So the other root will be 3. So we want to form that quadratic equation whose roots are negative 1 and um, positive 3. And there are a couple of ways to make these two roots to be an equation. First method, we can bring this one backward, bring this one backward so that we have x plus 1 here equal to 0. We have x minus 3 here equal to 0. Then we take these two and multiply them together right let's do that this tutorial will be a very intuitive one so that you get to understand all this aspect so once we take x plus 1 we multiply by x minus 3 we set everything to be equal to 0 this will give us that particular quadratic equation whose roots are the reciprocal of the roots of this particular equation so we take x times x will give us x squared, x times negative 3, that is negative 3x. Then 1 times x, that will give us x. 1 times negative 3, that will give us negative 3, equal to 0. 
we simplify x squared minus 3 plus 1 that will give us minus 2x then minus 3 equal to 0 this equation x squared minus 2x minus 3 if you solve it you have to get negative 1 and 3 but you know that this will give us negative 1 and 1 over 3 their roots are just the reciprocal of uh, each other and another way you can form this quadratic equation which is i think the most simplest way is to say that x squared minus the sum of the roots times x then plus their product this is equal to zero this is another way of forming a quadratic equation when the roots are given the sum meaning you should add them together minus one plus three that will give us two so we have x squared minus two times x then the product meaning you should multiply them negative one times 3 is negative 3, then you set everything to be equal to 0, as simple as that. But how can we form this equation without necessarily solving this particular equation? And that is the most standard way of solving questions like this. You should know that a is equal to 3 because the leading coefficient is what? a. Then b is the coefficient of x, which is 2. And C is the constant, which is negative 1. First step. The second step, let's alpha and beta um, be the roots of 3x squared plus 2x minus 1 equal to 0. Because we don't want to solve this equation, so we assume that alpha and beta are said to be the roots of this particular equation then we need to find the symmetricals that is alpha and beta plus beta that's what we call the sum that can be obtained by taking negative b divided by a b is already 2 but negative b will be negative 2 so this will be negative 2 divided by a a is 3 then we need to take the product product which is what alpha times beta and that will give us c divided by a c is negative one a is three so we need these two things negative two over three and negative one over three so that particular equation we want to form will have what roots as one over alpha and one over beta because it stated clearly that the roots are what reciprocal of each other so let's 1 over alpha and 1 over beta be the roots of the new equation. The new equation we are about to form. Therefore, using that second method of forming a quadratic equation, we can generate a quadratic equation using 1 over alpha and 1 over beta. So let's do that. It will be what? x squared minus sum, which is 1 over alpha plus 1 over beta times x. Then plus the product, that is 1 over alpha times 1 over beta equal to 0, right? Let's further simplify it. This will give us x squared minus, if you add this, you have alpha plus beta divided by alpha beta multiplied by this x. Then if you multiply the other one, you have 1 over alpha beta. This is equal to 0. But already, this is alpha plus beta, which we have as negative 2 over 3 from here. Divide by alpha times beta, which we have as negative 1 over 3. Remember, this is that. Then 1 over this, that is the reciprocal of this. That's the only thing we need to do here in order to form that equation. Let me box it here. I think this will be enough for me. We have x squared. We have minus alpha plus beta. Alpha plus beta, that is negative, negative 2 over 3. Divide by, I would like to use this division sign because we have a fraction here. Alpha times beta, which we have as 
negative 1 over 3 close times x then plus 1 over the product plus 1 over the product the product is what negative 1 over 3 then the whole of this should be equal to 0 let's simplify this is x squared minus you know um, division can also be transformed to multiplication but you have to take the reciprocal of this that will give us negative 3 over 1 so that will give us should I okay let me add one more step this is negative 2 over 3 times negative 3 over 1 times x and this is what a reciprocal of negative 1 over 3 that will give us negative 3 this is equal to 0 you know this 3 will cancel this 3 and negative 2 times 1 that will give us negative positive 2 so x squared uh, minus that 2 times this x minus this 3 equal to 0 can you see this is exactly that equation we have formed x squared minus 2x minus 3 equal to 0 is said to be that quadratic equation whose roots are the reciprocal of the roots of this equation as simple as that thank you for watching do share to your learning colleagues and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel for more exciting videos bye bye